Yeah, g'day. I'm James Pauley, the owner of Traction EV. We're a classic car EV conversion shop on the north side of Brisbane. And this is our 1968 Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, it's fully electric, it's got Tesla batteries, and it's got a 120 horsepower electric motor, makes 170 foot pounds of torque. Uh, it's very quick, it gives a lot of people a pretty big surprise at the lights. It's a lot of fun, it's super reliable, it's bulletproof, you can just beat on it all day, it's, it's a lot of fun. And uh, how did it start life and uh, where did you get the idea? And uh... um, So we run through the factory transmission. I uh, designed my own adapter plates and battery boxes to fit the car. So this motor just runs through an upgraded clutch into the standard transaxle that these have. So you've still got all the gears and all the fun of driving a manual car, but all that torque and massive RPM of an electric motor. So it's a lot of fun. And it's not silent, it makes noise. A lot of people say, oh, but where's the noise? And it's not silent. You get a lot of, like, kind of sounds like turbo spool and, yeah. like, reverb through the body of the car. It sounds really good. It's hard to see on the camera, but very pro. Good. Not that the factory ones sound all that great anyway. So. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So if it's, um, like, it's factory gearbox, like, how mm. is it not breaking that with so much torque? These gearboxes are surprisingly strong. Um, and I've got a torque curve programmed into it, so I'm not just dumping it. I can tune it and yeah. make it dump in, like full torque from zero RPM, but I do feed it on, so I'm not blowing up the transmission. I want to put a tough transmission in it for um, the Warwick drags in October, and then we'll really see what it can do. Have you drag raced it yet? Um, only the eighth mile up at Lakeside. How'd it go? Um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not the slowest car there. It's not the quickest car there, but... Um, <laughs> It'll keep up with like a stock SS Commodore, maybe 80 k's an hour, and then they get the legs and yeah. yeah. It's got the torque, but yeah. it's only 120 horsepower, yeah. like 90 kilowatts. So okay. Yeah. So I guess front to back, show us what we're looking at here. So. Yeah. So motor in the back, obviously. Speed controller up top. That's like your EFI. You got battery power in and motor power out. Uh, liquid cooling for the speed controller. Motor's just air cooled. Um, so behind the back seat. We've got three Tesla batteries, um, still four-seater. Uh, the inside is all pretty factory. I've just got an extra gauge for the battery. Um, I've added a toggle switch beside the gear shifter there so I can just change the motor direction for forward and reverse. Okay. These old Volkswagens have got a pretty funky So you can reverse. go as fast in reverse as you can in forward? Or? It is electric limited, so you're not going to go <laughs> crazy. Yeah, the so no fast and the furious. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you could program it to do that, but for safety, no. Yeah. <laughs> so, pop the bonnet here. And we've got two more Tesla batteries up front where their petrol tank used to be. So there's two Tesla battery modules inside here and that spreads the weight out across the car. This is an onboard charger and where the uh, fuel flap is, is the charge inlet. So you can charge this at home, at your mate's place, at your grandma's house, yeah. or at one, any of the public charges around Brisbane. How far can it go? Well, like, what's the capacity, and um, like, how, how sort of, like, what sort of mileage do you get out of it? Um, distance -wise? It's a third of a Tesla pack, so it's uh, 28 kilowatt hour, and this car will go 160 k's on a charge. Okay. How long does it take to charge? Uh, this one's just an overnight charger. It's all I need. Yeah. I don't do a lot of long distance, but yeah. I recently did a Marcon Cortina for a customer. That's got DC fast charging. That'll charge in about an hour. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. And um, what does it weigh? Um, it's only 60 kilos more than stock. Really? Yeah. And the weight bias is exactly the same as factory, 60-40. Okay. So they were 850 kilos from factory and now it's uh, 910. <laughs> <laughs> what are we looking at there? Uh, it's 30,000 volts of tasers. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, why don't you read that up as an anti-theft system? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. And um, yeah. you said that you run um, your own place, so you yeah. can drive in and get things converted. Just... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, up to a point. I like, I like my old cars. Yeah. Um, you know, when things start getting into CAN bus, yeah, uh -huh. I, yeah, I don't really want to start messing around with So no with electric that. Lambos? <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet. I see it in the future though. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, thanks very much for taking the time to show us yeah. that. Cheers, yeah, man. no problem. Have a good rest yeah. of your weekend. Yeah, you too, mate. Cheers.